So once upon a time, we went on a date. No, we didn't. It was not a date. Once upon a time, we went on a not date that sort of turned into a three-day date. Well, we did not plan to get together. Let's put it that way. And then we were traveling together and being together all the time. We did enjoy exploring new places and making new friends. Hello. We're just doing it together now and each in our own style. How's the day going? Big workload today, a lot of emails. A lot of meetings. I did put an effort into learning more about cats. I realized how important they were to you. It's me explaining you what's happening about the cat. I'm such a cat bird. Cat bird? Cat bird, yeah. And I noticed your efforts, and I do appreciate them to be more of a cat person. Right? But your true passion, let's be honest, was elsewhere and obvious. As we sort of approached the end of 2019, Justina had this idea about what to do next. More of a sense, not really an idea. I realized that I do love podcasts and I obviously love dogs. Mm -hmm. So why not try and make a podcast about dogs? Anything about them. How they emerged from wolves, any origin stories, living with dogs and so on. What cats think about dogs? Let's not get carried away. So, yeah, that's how Dog Storian was born. Well, yeah, I mean, you were the one that said we were cats, birds, but, you know, whatever. I was excited to help you. and I think you were just excited about traveling, because that's how we started. We went to Amsterdam, which was a great trip. That's true. It did give us an excuse to travel and interview people, which was absolutely awesome. Mm-hmm. And even that Amsterdam trip, which was the first actual interview, we met this wonderful dog trainer. My name is Marjorie. In a giant shelter. And she told us so many things about dogs, which we maybe didn't really realize at the beginning of our journey. Yeah, that was an amazing start. We were really spoiled, even if we did have to sort of wade our way through dual hurricanes. But it didn't <laughs> seem to bother the Dutch. I mean, there were Dutch pancakes as sort of compensation. It is really good. I think that's why they are not bothered by the bad weather. <laughs> the, the pancakes? Yes. I, it, can, it can't hurt. Yeah, I, I will never forget them. It's hard to be grumpy after those pancakes. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's why we thought that 2020 is going to be such a great year. It totally was. It was going to be an amazing year. (laughs) For us, for our project, for everybody. Everybody, except that it wasn't. 2020 had different plans. (laughs) It definitely had different plans. It just didn't share them with us. So we're in lockdown, 15 of March, most likely. It's hard to follow the days, especially when you're working from home, as we're going to be doing now for three weeks, at least. Honestly, it sucks. It sucks badly because I just wanted to start kicking off this project. And here I am, stuck at home, which is not bad. I like my home. But it gets really hard when you are not allowed to go out and see anybody. If you like him now. (laughs) Nine weeks. Here we go. Eventually, we had to learn how to entertain ourselves at home. Does it hurt? No, no, not at all. Ow. Like, I learned how to cut hair. Did you? Yeah. (laughs) You do nice work. It was obviously a really challenging time, but we didn't give up. We just started doing the interviews remotely. I'm Clive Wynn. Dr. Barbara Cook, Assistant Professor of Criminal Justice at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Being locked in the apartment also gave us time to reconsider our priorities. My priority number one was always clear. Waiting for you. Yeah, it was just about the right timing. Grim. That's a good name for a dog, Grim. Grim? Grim. Grim? Uh Black and super cheerful. Speaking of that, we wrote this carefully worded letter, very sweet letter, to our landlady. And less than 24 hours later, very timely, we had an answer. Let me translate. Unfortunately, we've had very bad experiences in the past with the keeping of dogs or cats in our rental apartments. The job we had to go through range from severe damage to wallpaper, doors, frames, floors in the apartments, soiling of the staircase caused by shaking the wet fur, bloodstains and vault, scratch marks and doors and much more. It sounded as if we were planning to build a farm in there not to get a dog. I am very angry. I have a double anger for our landlord. 
was really a blow. And on top of that, my family got a new dog. At least we got to meet him. That wasn't so bad. Being reasonable people as we are, we came to only one conclusion. We had to move. Quickly. Immediately. We clearly needed a dog-friendly place. With maybe more than Frankfurt had to offer. Yeah, I mean, we had fallen in love with Barcelona. But after COVID hit, the idea of finding new jobs, learning another language, all that stuff, that was just too much. We didn't plan on Berlin, but that's where we ended up. And a week after we moved, Justina already found a dog that we wanted to meet in person. You mean the perfect dog? The perfect dog was also a perfectly medium-sized dog, which was a stipulation of our, our new rental contract. And even though she was found on the streets of Cyprus, she was pretty well trained. Yeah, she was obviously socialized, which makes me wonder whether someone just kind of abandoned her. But anyway. I know. She was perfect. She even retrieved toys. So we summoned our courage and our best awkward German, and we called the shelter. There's no connection for the number you have dialed. Yeah, maybe I need that zero. There's no connection for the number you have dialed. Oh, come on. Ask her if they have any cats. Was? Guten Tag. Hallo. Uh, es ist Justina und Brian. Ja. Wir rufen wegen Lucy. Ja, genau. Wir hatten schon geschrieben, ne? Obviously, we sent in the paperwork immediately. Because in Germany, you have to go through a very long list of paperwork to adopt a dog or plant a garden. Pretty much anything else? <laughs> Walk down the street. Only slightly exaggerating. And a few days later, we got a date. A date with our perfect candidate. I think it's fair to say that it was love at first sight. Or at first two. Oh, my gray hat. I loved that hat. So did she. <laughs> she loved it more. In truth, I wasn't that crazy about it. But anyway, she found her way into our hearts instantly. Hearts, couches, plates. And that's how it all began. Playing, training, exploring. The life of Lucy. Or jackpot, as I like to call her. Which is just to say that she is definitely living the doggy dream. <laughs>